It's me, Ian. And in today's video, well, I'm continuing my look at classic Doctor Who, The Golden Age. The wonderful third and fourth Doctors. And, well, today's one is a fourth Doctor story. Yes, it is. The Sunmakers from 1977. This is from season 15, and this is the fourth story. Um, before we had this, uh, we had the image of Fendal, as last one I reviewed was the fourth Doctor. And then coming up next will be Underworld. Now, this was transmitted uh, between the 26th of November to the 17th of December, 1977. Um, and it's written by Robert Holmes. Oh, yes, another classic Robert Holmes story. Um, now, um, he's still in a role the, as the script editor with Anthony Reid under the um, producer, new producer now, settling in, Graham Williams. Um, now, it's directed by uh, Pennant Roberts, who we have come across before. Um, in terms of Doctor Who, he was in um, The Face of Evil, 1977, and therefore was involved in the casting of Louise Jameson as Leela. Um, he directed... Um, the Pirate Planet, 1978, um, another fourth Doctor story. Uh, then um, Warrior of the Deep, 1984, which is a fifth Doctor story. Oh, yes. Then Time Lash, 1985, which is a sixth Doctor story. Also, I think um, it's worth mentioning also that he was um the director of the unfinished Sharda from 1979 that was a fourth doctor story which never was completed because of um a strike um bbc strike going on and um it was never finished there are, uh, quite a lot was filmed and has been put together um and released um, so we we know a lot about the story, and there's some great scenes, but it we never was completed. So he was the uh, director of this uh, story. Um, yeah, so um, that's it really <laughs> about the um, director. I'll just say a few things as well. Uh, the music is by um, Dudley Simpson, and this soundtrack, which is considered, you know, really. Um, mm highly was released uh on an album uh in 2020 yeah a soundtrack um another few points i'd just like to make as well um louise jameson actually writes this as a favorite doctor who story also i think it's worth pointing out pluto which uh this is set on um is was for many years they are seen as the uh, ninth planet uh, but in 2006 it was um downgraded um to well they call it um a dwarf planet yes uh and because they found another um outside pluto another sort of rock structure which uh they put put with it really so um i'm afraid it lost its status um so um also i think it, it before i just go into it this story is interesting because um it it was really a satire 
by Robert Holmes on the tax system, as he saw it, um, and the injustice of it. Though when you look at it as well, it may well be also a satire um, uh, um, for the right wing or left wing political viewpoints. So there's a lot in there um, of conflict. Now, the producer, I think, toned it down quite a lot because he was worried about it. And some have even seen it. Louis, Louis Jameson said, um, an attack on the BBC satire. So I don't know. But um, there's a lot of elements in it. <laughs> yes, definitely. So let's go through the cast. We've got Tom Baker, of course, as the fourth Doctor. Then we have got Louise Jameson as Leela. And John Leeson, of course, is the voice of K-9. K-9 is now part of the series, so I include that. OK, let's get into the cast. Now, Henry Wolf plays the Collector. And what a role that is, the Collector. Yes. Now, Henry Wolf, um, notable films that he was involved in was um, The Lion in Winter, 1968, Stepped on Son, Ride Again, 1973, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, 1975, um, Gorky Park, 1983. Um, he was a very much um, uh, also a... a, a, a appearances in TV series as, and also on the theatre, of course. He was, a th a th you know, an, an actor in the theatre. So um, that's him, and the role is really good. Um, it adds, it adds as, well, it's, it's a standout performance. It's, it's a, a, a performance you do not forget. Certainly. And uh, then we've got Richard uh, Leash. Uh, playing um, the Gatherer Hade. Uh, now, he has quite a career going back. Notable films that stand out were he was in The Dam Busters, 1955, The Brilliant Night of the Demon, 1957. Uh, he was in A Night to Remember, 1958, which is the Titanic film. He was also in a couple of directed films by Richard Attenborough, which was Young Winston, 1972, and Gandhi, 1982. Again, another one, TV um, appearances in, you know, lots of serials and um, a background as well of the theatre. So doing both TV and theatre. Um then we've got uh, William Simons, who plays Mandrell. Um, now, I've never watched this series, but uh, apparently he's famous for being in the series Heartbeat, which was from 1992 to 2010, and played um, a regular character, P.C., um, I think it's Ventrist, something like that, Ventrist. Um, I've no idea. I've never seen the series. I do know about it. I know it exists. And um, it's filmed near Whitby, by Eck Whitby. Yeah, uh, I know it's filmed near there. But that's about it. Yes, <laughs> I don't know much more. Anyhow, he is a, um, he's uh, playing quite an important role in this. And very good as well. And then we've got um, Adrian Burgess, who plays uh, Veet. Um, and she's another one um, who's just TV and TV series and films. Though she was in one film that I, I did notice it, make a note of, really, was Priest of Love, 1981, which does come up a few times. Um, that's the film about D.H. Lawrence. That's from 1981. And then we've got a name that, if you're a sci-fi fan, uh, especially of TV, then you will know. It's Michael Keating who plays Goodry. And, of course, Michael Keating is really... We all know him as Villa 
in Blake 7. Wonderful Blake 7. What a TV series that was. Um, just just a fantastic. And, of course, there was um, people involved in Doctor Who or um, involved in uh, Blake 7 uh, and actors like um, Paul Darrow, who um, appeared in Doctor Who, Jacqueline Pierce, of course, she appeared in Doctor Who. Um, so we've got a, quite a, a connection with um, Doctor Who. Anyhow, that, that's that's the cast that um, I'm picking out. So you're saying, get on with, what's the story, lad? Uh, what is this satire about? Well, the Doctor and Lean and Leela with K9, um, they land on Pluto and they start a revolution. You want to say it? Um, amongst the humans there because the humans are on a lot of working underground um and um it's all run by an alien corporation and everything like the collector this uh alien figure is uh, all about the tax the money collecting all the money and everything and it's all about their control um and it has an economic hold over humanity um and humanity it looks like earth as um well the, the humans have evacuated earth again which is funny doctor they're always doing that <laughs> but, uh various times um i'm going to say the doctor um sets us through the various chain of events um and with Leela very much playing a part, um, set the revolution going. Um, it's it's a great story, but it's got humour in it as well. There's quite a lot of humour, um, I think, in the satire and making various points. And uh, it's been accused of being right-wing orientated because of the... Um, uh, about the tax system, but he's also been accused of being left wing. We can't win, can you? For being associated with workers' uprisings and revolution. So there we are. The BBC, even in those days, was getting flack. And I think that's why Graham Williams was very worried about this story. I think, uh, you know, say nowadays, God, you imagine nowadays they'd be exploding. They would be going absolutely bonkers about this story, saying, you can't do that, you can't have that. But there it is, it's here, and this is in 1977, uh, which is an interesting year in itself. Um, that's another time to talk about 1977. Um, but, yeah, this uh, really comes across well. Uh, and, you know, to think that it's on, as usual, prime time um, Saturday television, and um, it's very much got an adult favour, even though, of course, with K9, it's still got that, you know, for children as well. It's it's all there. And it is actually quite violent as well. Um, that, that has been toned down, I think, before. The violence would have been more graphic than it actually is, but there's still quite a bit of, you know, people not doing very nice things. And... Um, I think it looks good as well. I mean, there's talk in the documentary. The documentary, incidentally, is excellent um, on this um, and that I watched. It's just really good. Um, the, um, as usual with Doctor Who, there's a lot of, you know, finance, you know, to do with the budget of the show. And they do a really good job. But I don't think it, it looks... There are the corridor stuff, which look a bit bland and plain sometimes, but... I don't think that matters too much because it, it, it manages, as usual, the direction and design, you know, what they are able to do just comes across well. That's Doctor Who. They're running this machine and it's doing brilliant what it does. Absolutely. Yeah, all people involved in its production. Great. Um, so uh, I, I wouldn't knock it at all for that. It's a thoroughly enjoyable story and... I think that, you know, anybody cannot like this. You can't dislike this story. Anyhow, before I go, here it is. Oh, there it is.
you've seen it anyhow before, but we'll go on the back and you see all the extras on here. Um, and there's, look at the disc, it's a lovely disc. And then we've got the pamphlet, which gives you more information about the um, story. Um, fantastic. And just before I go again, um, there's the um, Doctor Who collection. This was released this year. The story, of course, had a VHS release 2001, first came out on DVD in 2011. And then here we have the Blu-ray now in this brilliant collection. Highly recommend it this year. I love it. I love it. And this has got all this stuff on and more extras. Love it. Yes. So that's it. That's my review. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'll let you know when I put out these videos. And um, have a look at playlists. You can see all of Doctor Who stories I've reviewed. Um, also, all the other things I do on the channel. And if you like this video, give it a like. Um, so get it out onto YouTube and hopefully other people might like it and enjoy it. And if you've got any comments, please put your comments down. I love to read your comments. And yeah, buy it. Oh, I'll answer them. And it all costs note. So you can't say fairer than that, can they? Buy it, you can't. So all I've got to say is, I'll see thee. I'll see thee again.